How do you not go insane during your challenges? I don't know, Reese. I don't know. I think I do go a little crazy sometimes. So welcome back to another DD challenge video. This is a natural progression of the one era behind challenge, which you might have watched a video or two on. What does the EA get? They get all the ancient era and classical era civics and technologies, meaning they start with the government turn one, which is already quite crazy. Additionally, here, let me check my notes. Um, this is this is a typical 200 gold, 20 faith, 5 spearmen, 1 scout, 1 archer, 1 trader, 4 settlers, 3 builders, 4 sorting population in their capital. And the kicker, the thing that makes it really, really hard, is every other city starts with 2 population that they found. But every city they found starts with a free monument. Which is already just nuts. <laughs> I, am, I am really kind of dreading this. Whoa. Whoa. That's this founder city in the spot. I don't want to think too much about this. I want to see this natural wonder. It's yep. not the Mount Everest. We conquer. Mount Everest. Okay. And we got a governor in turn one. Oh, this is so good. When Secret Societies first came out, one of the first things I actually tested was ley lines and save wounds. And they don't stack. So, so I'm not going to go for... The Hermetic Order right now. We're going to go for Pingala. Korea has a really nice synergy with all the governors. Governors established in a city provide 3% culture and science for each promotion they have, including their first. So therefore, in five turns, boom, 3% bonus. For the thing we can build in our capital, we have, I guess, three options. We know we're playing a fractal map, so we actually don't know if this is an island or what's going on. So Scout is still a decent option to kind of explore around and get all the tribal villages. The next things you can actually do is you can go for a builder right away. Because you can get mining, and then in 10 turns we'll have a builder, we can get a mine right there. And another mine wherever, yeah maybe that's a good option. Let's do that. Let's go for the builder. We'll get a mine here. We'll try to get this tile over here, get another mine. And then we can actually, then we do not actually need to have God King. Oh crap. That's not good. Well, there's two tribal villages, so we gotta get that one in the future. These things, boom, it's already like back home, you know, whining. Void Singers, love that. Okay, it's just an archer there. City so States already have swordsmen already, which is pretty crazy. We can go here with mining. And let's see what this tribal village. This thing has a relic. Come on, relic. Archery boost. Archery boost? Go for a settler next in our capital. Right off the bat, we need to find a, as many cities as possible in this game to actually kind of get going. This is a tough choice. <laughs> this is a tough choice. What I want to do is I want to buy this tile for the Seiwoon because I don't think it's actually going to expand there anytime soon. And then buy this tile to start working right away to get some two faith right off the bat. We can get our pantheon quickly. Maybe we'll get religious settlements. I think that'll be actually be worth it. Let's go ahead and do it. And we can buy it next turn. I think is that I think that's what we should do. And then we can go for urban planning instead of God King. And now we can go over here. I guess we got a couple turns to wait. We can actually see if these barbarians, yeah, they're coming at us. And they're swordsmen. And this is gonna be this is gonna be bad news for us. Are they gonna capture? Okay, no, they're just gonna I attack our capital. And they're probably gonna pillage this thing, which is okay. We're obviously not gonna attack that. Go here. So the good thing with barbarians is they can't yet yeah, 79 faith. That's fine. They can't actually pillage. Can they see us? Oh move there. Come on, really? Hmm. The thing is, like, the A already starts with 20 faith, so we're not getting religious settlements. There's just no way. We could pay the Bear Tree Clan to stop attacking us. 100 gold. And then move our thing in, back in here. I Maybe I like that idea and go for another settler. We don't know really what's up to the north. Let's just do that. We're going to pay them. I, I, just, I just can't, we just can't deal with it anymore. Okay, the drought's done. About time. Let's go work this. We finished our monument. Let's go for Heroic Tales. 
I feel like we kind of need a hero just to fend off all these barbarians around us. Oh, Sinbad. Wait, do we do we do we see hero? Yeah, we can't even build Sinbad here. We can build Sinbad up here. Which would be really, really good. To make this mod even harder, we're gonna combine it with the 10k extravaganza. The uh, 10k QA video. First question I'll answer was asked by several people. Papa Bose, Linus, Panda, and Hunter Ricketts all had really similar questions. What games do you play besides Civilization? Well, one of my favorites back, back a little while ago was actually Demon Souls. So basically all the From Software games, I really like those and those I play a lot. I mean, Demon Souls, I platinum that game when it first came out. And then the Dark Souls, I think I platinum that on PlayStation. And then uh, I think Dark Souls 2 I did too. And then I kind of just ran out actually some time of playing it. And I never actually beat the new Sekiro game. But Elden Ring, that's coming out this year, I believe. I am super excited for that. Other than that, I've been playing a decent amount of Rocket League these days. I think I finally reached Diamond in the uh, threes. I just solo queue. It's a lot of fun. And I've been playing the new Super Mario Brothers and Browser's, Bowser's Fury. I don't know, something like that. That game, that game is actually surprisingly like really, really good. And then No Man's Sky I've been playing a lot more recently. I think I actually play a lot more other games than Civilization. I kind of try to keep it fresh here. We should actually see... Okay, no great scientists have been recruited yet. 4.6 already. Wow. Let's go for another settler. We need some more settlers. Let's go ahead and buy this tile finally. And then go ahead and build our mine on it. This is something we wanted to do a long time ago. But now it's even better because we have a save wound next to it so it has one additional science. Let's go for free inquiry. This is pretty obvious to do actually as Korea because we're going to be building a lot of science buildings. And we're going to keep with this uh, discipline in urban planning. I really like those choices. Next question I'm going to answer is by Pedro P Prado. <laughs> That's a, I know everybody comes to this channel and watches uh, the, the videos because of the excellent linguistics and pronunciation of the really difficult words in the, in the English language. So I'm definitely going to uh, get all the names right for all the... Uh, <laughs> I'm just not even going to get close. I'm just not even going to get close. I think I'm going to go for another Heroic Tales. So the question is, when did you think, okay, I'm going to start making Civ 6 content in general? It started out because I realized I never actually really finished a game of Civilization 6. So I figured, hey, if I start making videos of it, I actually have to finish these games. <laughs> so... That's kind of how it started. And also, I, I, I thought it would be a lot of fun. And it's, uh, I think it is a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. What am I doing here? Let's go to Void Singers. And now we can actually switch this tile back up because we don't need to work this one anymore. And work one where we actually get some more food. Because our growth, we our capital is just hurting really, really bad right now. For our civics, we should probably go straight for Recorded History. Yeah. 100% go straight for recorded a tree. I would actually love to have it by now. We should probably go for straight for education. And for our Pantheon, come on, something good. The Pantheon we're going to go for, I think, is this Divine Spark. You know, Earth Goddess is would be kind of good now because we do have some breathtaking tiles, specifically like these are breathtaking over here. Some of them down here too are also breathtaking. But honestly, do we need the faith? Yeah, let's just do it. Let's see if one, one, Earth, one Earth Goddess is, uh, is good enough still. It might not be. There's Simbad, our first hero of the game. Oh, what? A Barbarian came in a row ready? Simbad's forces. Whoa. Whoa. 400 gold for that. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's so great because now we can build our Seiwoon right there. Ooh. This, this volcano's not active, so do we risk it? Yeah, we risk it. <laughs> we risk it. And we can just go here and buy the library. Oh. Oh, no. Corsairs. That's not good. That's not good at all. Yeah, they got it. Hercules. Hercules. Hercules is gonna save our lives. Hercules, what is your what is your 
combat strength. Where are you at? Where are you at? 52. We're just doing Simbad. Going around clearing all these encampments. 400 gold. That's ridiculous. We're going to be able to buy another settler eventually for that. And we're going to go to a golden age. And then get religious settlements. Oh, man. Things are finally coming up. Things are finally turning around. Hong Kong's taking a beating with this barbarian force. But this, oh, this camp is gone now. Oh, man, this Corsair can take our city over in one hit. Oh, man. We really need Hercules back. These barbarians, the barbarians are the hardest part of this mod by far. Like, this thing is 40 something combat strength, and we still have warriors. I'm trying to find where this barbarian encampment is so we can actually bribe it. See, I would rather have it attack our capital if it attacks anything. Okay, no. It's just chilling. It came from over here, I believe. Maybe it's going to Hong Kong. It's just kind of going through our, our neighborhood. Threatening our way of life. Oh, this is where they are. Yep, storm cloud. 420 to capture our settler back. 478 get a Corsair back. Let's just hire one and then take it over ourselves and get it back. Where's some more encampments around here? No, get back here. We got it. We got our warrior, or we got our settler back, and it's at a decent location to found a city. All right, okay, thank you very much. We also have zero gold and zero gold per turn. I'm hoping we get a, a knight. Oh, it's a heavy chariot. Oh, bummer. Okay, that's, you know, it couldn't get our hopes up too much. But there's still a tribal village over here. Oh. Oh, we got a free trader? What, what, what? Is that what we got, a free trade route? I don't remember building this trader. There's Hercules. Oh yeah. First you go here and you build your district. Excellent. Yeah, so getting a government plaza would be really, really good. Because it looks like the next era we're going to a golden age. We only need two more era score, which should be doable with just Simbad. Because he can just find, I guess two more AIs is all we need to find. Of the or we can just use Classic Republic. Boom, Golden Age secured. Not a problem. Should we do ice? Let's do isolationism for a little bit. We need to grow our capital and then we'll really expand in the next era. We have a couple choices with our governor. We could go for Magnus, but we if you want to go for Magnus, you want to get provisions. So that's two titles we have to go for. And we're going to get two titles. And that would really help because we could buy all of our settlers you know, right here or something and not lose any more population in that city, which would be really good. Okay, let's just do that. I like that idea. But there is another AI over here. Oh, Beowulf. Okay. Oh, Vietnam's in this game. Whoops. I should have said hi. <laughs> Instead of just pressing escape. Oh, well, they're all going to hate us anyways. Let's see the science. They're only at 51 science return. We're obviously not in first place. 25 technologies. We're at 10, so we're... 15 behind so you might notice a few changes around here i kind of planned out our city locations for our delicious golden they just coming up in eight turns the one problem we actually have hercules four chargers left that means two free say wounds however the lifespan is 23 turns so after eight turns is gone he's on the 15. so we have 15 turns to buy a couple of settlers so what i think i'm going to do i'll buy one here we'll probably go up here and then we'll buy one probably in this city and found the city down here. So we can actually fully utilize Hercules before, you know, he's gone. But we're also going to have to take out this Barbarian Cabinet. There's also been a lot of changes kind of on the back end of the channel. Oh, man. 14. I don't want Hercules to die. That would just be really, really bad. So there's also been, there's also been a lot of changes in the back end kind of of the channel. Oh, this is your last turn. Simbad, no. I basically switched over to another recording software that is more, I guess, streamer friendly. <laughs> so, you know, maybe we'll see how that actually works out in the future. Additionally, I have a new microphone set up, so hopefully my voice sounds a lot better these days. I'm actually a lot happier with it than I used to be. 
and I said to myself a long time ago, if I ever hit 10,000 subscribers, I'll actually get someone with some real talent to actually make for a profile picture for YouTube. So I have some new kind of channel art there, and you can find a link to Yaz's Instagram and YouTube channel in the description of this video. The next question I'll answer is by Lorem Lipsum. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. How many burritos can you eat in one sitting on an empty stomach? Well, if you are a member of my Discord, I do post pictures of the burritos I eat from time to time, and they are huge. They are literally like a, a foot long, <laughs> and I, you know, I can eat one of them just fine. I could probably eat two, but after one, I'm kind of already like, yeah, this is enough. <laughs> this is enough food for the rest of the day. So I would just say one. Let's get our first industry of the game. I decided to put it in our capital instead of over in this city because our capital desperately needs all the food and stuff like that they can actually get. This game is actually going kind of decent. I did play this one other time and I just basically lost the barbarians. I played another time and I got run over. Like I just died in like 10 turns because the AI spawned Literally, if this is my capital, the AI was right here and they just came at me and I had nothing to do. So for our dedication, we're going to choose obviously Exodus or of Monumental. Oh, we had three dedications. Oh. <laughs> that makes the choice super easy. Let's first buy a settler up here. And then we'll just buy another settler here. Or no, I said this one. This city, yeah. Specifically not doing bronze working. Because I don't want iron to <laughs> be at some random location to replace one of our say wounds. Uh, that's why I'm definitely avoiding some uh, some iron right now. Alright, so for our policy, we could do Corvée, huh? And try to get this great library. It's only 20 turns now. Let's, we, we might as well try for it, right? I It seems weird that we'll get the great library. Maybe they're just not prioritizing it because there's better wonders like, you know, <laughs> the Oracle or something like that. Oh, 20 horses. Perfect. Oh, we need horses so bad so our Corsair can actually heal up again. Military emergency passed. Oh, somebody's not happy with Vietnam. We do have... Oh, we have the government promotion. It's only been two turns. So we can just choose chorus. This will really help us out here. We should go a little bit higher on science now. We're at 41.4. Up to 49.4, so it's only 8. We're going to get universities everywhere. We're saving up as much gold as we actually can. Go ahead and found our next city right here. And then spend all that gold that I said we're saving to actually buy some tiles. So we can build a save wound. Right over here. And then change that over to, let's see, one out of five minus one amenities. That's that's not great. And go here. Boom. Turn one. Done. The next question I'll answer was asked by two people. It's your boy and X Kidder. Seven 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 something like that. Cats or dogs? I mean dogs or cats. I see I feel like this is a loaded question. One clearly said dogs first, the other one has kitty in the name, but to say I, I do like both we do have a cat right now named Arya. it's a black cat i really like it and we're also been looking at i've been really wanting to get a dog so i think i might be more more of a dog person but don't tell anybody else i said that <laughs> but i like cats too so you know hercules's last charge let's go ahead and build this actual seiwoon Oh, this is, this is gonna be some amazing tiles, these amazing mines around here. One, two, three, four tiles. That is awesome. We should actually just buy, we have enough for another settler. Let's go ahead and buy that. We'll buy that in this city. They're getting really close to a uh, city state conversion, 20 turns. Too bad we really, really need this land for our, our own purposes. Can we, how do we save this guy? I guess move down here. That's how we save it. Otherwise, I'd definitely let this thing change over to a city state. That would be really good, but we just need this land to expand. And 270.9, we're almost at 280. Temple of Artemis in one. Oh, we didn't get the Great Library. We might as well build a temple because it gives us four food in our capital, which desperately needs food. And we will get two amenities from there because we have this honey source here and this tea. Amenities are something we also really need. I think that the best spot is probably, I like to keep a spot next to our capital open. Let's just go right here. One turn is uh, it's quite fast. Great person. 
Oh, we got our first great scientist for the game. We're at 11.5. That's quite good, actually. Vietnam's next at 10.3. Has Newton been recruited? It doesn't look like it. I would really, really hate to miss on Newton. Newton's in the Renaissance era. Yeah, so we're right in the Renaissance era with great scientists. I would really, really hate to miss Newton. Just because we got a little bit greedy. So we're going to pass on this one. Newton's is so, so strong. It'll be so good for us. Yeah, these industries are just crazy. You can make these tiles absolutely nuts. Look at this. This one has an industry. This city has an industry. We're probably going to do pearls over here. Or we can actually do tea. We have gypsum in our capital. We probably actually should have done honey for the additional growth rate. If you actually want to try this mod, like, and have it really be difficult, just try this game in normal mode. No additional, you know, no additional heroes, no barbarian clan mode, none of that stuff. Just try normal mode and you'll realize how, how spoiled we've actually been with all these additional tile yields. Let's just put our industrial zone right here. We can get an aqueduct right there. And then we'll have a couple of lumber mills over here. So it'll be a pretty decent industrial zone. Maybe we should actually research aqueducts first and build that beforehand. Because then we'll get a plus three bonus for our industrial zone and we'll get some error score for that. But we have to do that before the industrial zone is actually done. So we're going to switch over to aqueduct as soon as we unlock it. 300, 300, there we go. There's another one. And a great person. There it is. Isaac Newton. Oh, man. Oh, take that. Who took it? I don't know who took the last one, but we're definitely ooh, built, instantly built a university and a library. That's so good. <laughs> How did I not notice this thing? It is hiding there in the forest. Let's see what you got. What kind of secrets do you have? A free envoy. This whole time you had an envoy waiting for us? We're waiting. I want to wait till we actually find some like a scientific city state or something like that. I just did the math. We can actually afford one more settler and one builder. So therefore, in this era, we bought four settlers and one builder. And I think what we're going to do is just we're going to buy our builder. We do, do not have Liang anywhere, so it doesn't really matter where we put it. We do still have Serfdom as one of our policies. So let's go ahead and buy it in our capital so we can improve some of these tiles, like this wheat tile and stuff like that. We're going to buy our settler over here so it can actually just go down to this city. It only takes four Turns to actually get down there. Kind of boring World Congresses so far. Oh, we get an extra trade route. There's Niter. Oh. Well, there's Niter rip our capital. Okay. Is there any Niter around? Oh, that's the only one. Do we not? Okay, we still have our excellent campus location. Oh, there's another Niter up there. That's great. All we need is really two sources of Niters for all the frigates we're ever going to need because they do not require additional Niter per turn. I'm a little worried. Oh. Oh, yes. The industrial zone bonus. I totally planned that out. That's totally why I did that. So it exactly get to a normal era, the next era. That's totally why we built the aqueduct first instead of the industrial zone. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sometimes you just, you're just so good at this game, you don't even realize, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. We just upgraded Pingala the full amount. Well, we might get Space Initiative in the future. Or we might just take over the world through tourism. I don't know how we're actually going to win this game. I didn't actually have a, I don't actually have a plan right now. <laughs> we're just kind of playing along. We have 107 science. Vietnam, I believe, is probably the other kind of leader. They're getting, you know, they have 30 technologies. We're at 24. We're basically caught up with everybody because if you look at our technology trees, we don't know what bronze working or iron working is or machinery, or castles. So this is in like eight turns, we can get four technologies right there. And you know, mass production, square rigging, all this stuff like that. I wouldn't actually mind holding off on this and just upgrading you instead. So can we go mass production first? I, I kind of want to get industries to rebuild coal. Actually, we should go for Oxford University. What am I, what am I thinking? Yeah, we want Oxford University. We have to be a little bit careful with our caravel. I think we're a few turns away from actually revealing or saying we traverse the globe. But I also would like to kind of save all the era score we get until the next era. So I do not want to meet any additional civilizations right now. Because we only need to wait three more turns. That's really hardly any turns. 
And we have enough to buy our settler. That's the last thing we'll be able to purchase this era. I think it was actually a really good era for us. Look at this. Look at how much we expanded. There's so much orange on this map. It is crazy. And we got our save wound over here. We have enough. We've been saving up our money so we can actually just buy our libraries. And we'll just build a little god of bliss, something like that, in granaries. Whoa. Wait, we have some monopolies already? Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, crap. We only have two heroic relics, so we're not really kind of going crazy for that. But I didn't think we'd actually have monopolies. Maybe we have it on honey and maybe wine or pearls. I doubt pearls. Pearls are like the hardest thing to actually get monopolies on. For our dedication, okay, normal age and a dark era for the Nubian Empire. Let's go hit Sunk Dracones because we're finally exploring the map. This game basically was like, you know, started out, oh man, what are we doing? <laughs> like, please don't die. Please don't die. And then, you know, the third era, we got money mentality just exploded with cities. And now we're exploring the map and going to reveal. We only have revealed one natural wonder so far. Wait, is this a... Another tribal village over here. Didn't I get this one? There are three on this island. That is crazy. This is it. This is probably one of the last cities we're actually going to be founding this game. Ooh, and we got Merchant Republic this turn. What a great turn. Another great turn. Things are going okay for okay for us right now. See, we'll, let's go ahead and place this down. Excellent. You know what? I just want to actually research bronze working. I want to see where the iron actually is. Because, you know, it benefit you know... Getting resources, you know, they have extra production boosts just for those tiles. So it's kind of useful to actually get them as soon as possible. And then we'll go for scientific theory. For our military policy, we're going to go for press gangs. We're going to start building a lot of quadrings right off the bat. And then we'll go for a diplomatic league because I believe we're going to we're gonna meet a city-state really soon. And, you know, I'd really like to actually put, if it's a scientific one, we get one free envoy for that. Let's see where the iron is in this world. One turn. Bronze is the We have two sources. Wait, are you seriously? Are you kidding me? No, 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 no way. Wait, under this one too? Oh my goodness. I have never I've never never had that happen before. Holy smokes, I am so glad that we didn't research iron. Like that would have been just bad. Great merchant. Free trader route. Yes. Wicked King there are chocolate the hills, a hero, and three air score. Oh, and a scientific city state. Yes, only five envoys, two science for each. Great work of writing, uh, not exactly ideal. Let's go ahead and put one in there just so we get our free envoy. <laughs> Diplomatic service. I want to find another scientific city state and then maybe build Kiwa Kiswani somewhere. We are crushing it right now in science 144 science return. 127 turn 127 that's quite crazy actually and another say wound done and we have a thousand gold let's go ahead and buy your university up here first and then we'll go buy our library in the future here until then let's get the old god of Blisk and then the granary we are actually crushing it science wise brazil's first 113.4 we're still last with so 27 technologies they have 33 for the leader but we're at 160 science per turn that is absolutely remarkable. Our plan right now is to go for Oxford University next to get 20% more production or capital. I was looking and you can actually get rid of these industries. You can just use a builder and demolish improvement, builder demolishes improvement and switch them up because T actually gives 50% science yield in the whole city. However, since this tile is adjacent to another city, we can't actually get control of the city and our capital. Otherwise, that would be spectacular. Instead of getting, you know, 30% production towards buildings, we could get 15% more science. And then 20% more science with Oxford. Oh, man, that would have been great. If we look here, the next great engineer grants 215 production towards a wonder. We are getting four great engineer points per turn. We have, you know, two turns. So I thought, hey, why don't we go for some industrial zone logistics and get some more great engineer points? Try to go for that great engineer. We'll waste one turn towards Oxford. But, you know, we'll get, like, what, 215 times 2, so 430 production. That's a third of the production cost for Oxford. For our spy, we're going to go right to the leader. Well, actually, no. We're going to go right to a place that has a commercial hub, which we don't know of any. All right, well, let's go right to the leader. <laughs> that is what we'll do. 
I do have kind of a good plan of what we're going to do for this uh, victory condition now. I've been thinking about it. The way I usually record is I record an hour or so at a time. Oh, and by the way, when I place this in the industrial zone, we did lose some appeal with the neighboring tiles. So Earth Goddess is not as good anymore, but I really didn't care. I knew that at the time when I was actually doing that. We still don't have anywhere to put this thing. <laughs> I guess we'll be able to put it here once this commercial hub is done. So as I was saying, what I basically do is I record for about an hour. And then I usually wait until the next day and then maybe record another hour. Depending on, like, if it's, this is a challenge video, so I'll re release it on one episode. So it takes a little while to actually do that. But if it's, like, it's a regular playthrough, I'll just do parts. And that's what you see, like, an hour goes down to about 15 minutes. Usually takes me... Okay, I gotta think here for a second. Yeah, let's just do campus research grants. <laughs> you might think we'd be going for a science victory. You might be right. You might be right, but you might not be right. As I was saying, I record for an hour and then I start to edit the video afterwards. And it usually takes me two hours or so to edit an hour of footage. Because I usually do a rough edit, go through it, and then when I'm done with that, I go through it one more time and edit it a little bit more. And editing of this two error behind video is taking a lot longer with all the like the little graphics that fly in and stuff like that. So that's a little behind the scenes of kind of how things actually work here. The next question. I'm going to answer was actually asked by a couple people, Yura Kasha, Sha, <laughs> and James McDonald. So first we'll start with James McDonald's question. We'll just scroll down. Uh, what is your dream man? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know any celebrities. Really, I don't really know a celebrity's name. So what I did, I went above and beyond for you. I googled how to figure out your dream celebrity man, and I took a BuzzFeed quiz. And the answer is Chris Hemsworth. And none other than... The god Thor himself is my dream man, I guess. So I hope you like that. As for the education career, I will tell you I actually do have a PhD in physics. And let's go ahead and get Oxford. And I've actually been to Oxford. But I didn't actually get any degrees from Oxford. So it's a nice place though. Whoa, <laughs> look at this. Who got it? Okay, an unknown player got the great engineer. How... They must have bought them. But thankfully, the next one's even better. 315. Oh, we're going to get this one. Yes. Maybe we should actually just go for another industrial zone logistics. I think that's worth it. That is definitely worth it. Thinking of kind of what to do with the faith, we can obviously buy a hero back. Like Hercules. Because <laughs> it'd be really, really good. Or, you know, we can just go like that and buy the Grand Engineer. And get Oxford done even sooner. I would hate to lose Oxford. I don't know. You might get an idea of what I'm going for when we do this. Go look, we need to figure out where uranium is in this world. The men at Oxford know all there is to be known. The old God of Bliss, this burning Arthur's green flames in our Institute. capital. There's a nice campus to the right. Temple of Artemis to the north. Aqueduct to the left. Duster Zone to the Northwest, beautiful Oxford. This is, this is going to be, whoa, whoa. That was some technologies. Let's see what we have. 60.8 right now for science in our capital. Let's go ahead and get some more. Another thousand gold. Let's go ahead and buy. This is our last university. Every one of our cities has a university now. <laughs> and, and like everything. So we have one, two, three, four. We have eight cities, eight universities, eight libraries, eight Plus eight say wounds. Crazy. And a plus seven production tile down here. Lies and here's one of our wonders. Man, we're barely like so many wonders this game. Of the mausoleum. Of such exquisite beauty. Ooh, is that There's amber no in the ocean to the left of this thing? Man, I think I think the graphics still look really good, and this game's like what, five or six years old? Man. Pearls. Look at these tiles now. Absolutely breathtaking. We should probably... Oh, we already do have a harbor. Let's get a shipyard now. After the settler. So we're going to triangle trade natural philosophy, obviously, in professional army. For right now, so we can actually upgrade some of our units. We have a lot of kind of older things sitting around here. Like these quadrimes. Oh. Wait, we have battleships? When did this happen? Holy smokes. Are we in... We're leading. 43 technologies. 
No. <laughs> okay, we have 289. Oh. Vietnam is 283. Okay, we're going to try something a little different here. Kilbert it's actually is one of the a really good World Congress. In the world. And we just finished Kilwa Kisawani. We are progress, rocking science. And it rains <laughs> with we are rocking science. I moved Amani over to the other scientific city state. So we get two more envoys there. And once she's established... Okay, fabricated scandal. And then, yes... Campus actually passed. I have always... We need to actually change here to make sure we're going for research labs. I guess. Yeah, we want to get research labs as soon as possible so we can actually benefit off of this. Because otherwise we're not really benefiting benefiting off of the World Congress. Because all of our save wounds are pretty full. We're going to denounce you. I do not like how you're actually kind of almost evil even with us. With respect to how much gold you have. Okay, this one has a promotion. This one has a promotion. This one does not have a promotion. And this one also has a promotion. Can we take it over? I think we can. Boom. Yep. And this tile went away, so it was a hundred percent ley line. Looks like our loyalty is pretty bad, and we lost the diplomatic quarter. I guess we'll get pearls. I mean, what's the point of keeping this city? You really have nothing. See you later. Chemistry is... Okay, the Dutch... The D Dutch ate us. That's fine. We're finishing chemistry, so now we desperately need to... Actually, oh. Of Germany and we're finishing Ruhr Valley. Man, this has been... Hardly anyone worked. Wonder Hardly after wonder anyone after wonder. The population Especially the in our capital. And to be supported by the rest of the country. And our capital has, you know, Mount Everest to the right of it. And probably like four or five mines. Chemistry. <laughs> or mines. Look at these things. All plus six. Our capital. 86.8 production and 90.9 .9 science return. Let's go ahead and build the research lab in one turn. Sounds pretty good to me. Every one of our cities has switched over a research lab. This one, well, we're going to finish campus research grants, but then we're going for a research lab. The highest one is 11. This is 11 turns here. You know what? I feel kind of bad for it. Let's just go ahead and buy it. <laughs> But otherwise, in seven turns, we're going to finish all these research labs. We actually probably need some power around here. This is one of the most important turns that we have of the game. Where is the uranium? We have none of it. We have, you know, we have that one settler. Okay, so there's uranium right there. Lahore. Oh, 19. I wonder if that's really 19 garrison, you know, combat strength. We can just take that over. I like that idea. Three results. We only know three results in the whole world. Oh. And they're over here. That's super far away from us. Well, Settler, you're on a road trip. We'll bring the musket man with you too. The next question I'm going to answer is by Anno Haas. Can you do a few tutorial-like videos in the future regarding smart district placing and how to focus exactly on the district's strategies you need for the specific wing i have thought about that a bit in the past but i'm not the biggest fan of like an hour-long tutorial video we don't want the cultist so my current plan is actually kind of explore the shorts area a little bit more do a 60 second kind of little fast tutorial on each kind of district we'll see if i can make it work uh, i might not be able to but that's the kind of current I or current plan right now and this city Hercules, take it over. Done. Let's see what you actually have. Okay, loyalty-wise, 22.9. That's actually kind of doable these days. You have a lot of Watts neighborhoods. You have a lot of districts here. You know what? <laughs> no. I mean, I thought it would be, it'd be pretty good. But let's just not do that. Let's go ahead and take over this city-state that was probably... We're going to keep this one, obviously, because we definitely want to just buy a builder and then buy that uranium. We'll go this one and then this one. I like that. Oh, it's even breathtaking. No way. A breathtaking uranium tile. Soon to be not breathtaking with the beautiful, beautiful mine on there. Here it is. This is what we're. This is what we've been waiting for. 
World Congress. Let's just vote everything. Sure. <laughs> that is exactly what we've not been waiting for. This. Robots this. Here it is. Forever, and it's been the next Giant death robots. Yes. Let's go ahead and buy some. This is what we've been saving up all of our gold for. 6,000 gold apiece. Whoa. I don't think they're that expensive. Look at that. Only 23. Next turn, we'll see how much more it goes up. Tank cores. Alright, advanced power cells. Giant death robots are even better now. Let's see how much better it does. Whoa. See, look at that. Holy smokes, it took half of it off. It took half of it off in one turn. Let's go for advanced AI. Ooh, are you going to give us a free city? We'll take that cellar and we're gonna find, we're gonna get some uranium. I like this idea. Minus twenty. Holy smokes! I, think, I feel like we can make that smaller. Cybernetics plus three movement for our beautiful giant death robots. The best part of actually not taking over any cities is they can't they can't declare a military emergency against us. So, boom, another one gone. Uh, I don't even need to look at it to know we need to raise it. Still minus 20, huh? Hmm. I guess we can take over Amsterdam. Uh, it's okay. Five error score for that. Hopefully, the city will actually do better. Let's go ahead and move Victor to Amsterdam. And then another governor. I don't know. I guess we don't really need Pingala in our capital anymore. To this city now, we should be doing okay. <laughs> oh man, the world hates us. The world hates us. Let's see, who are we at war with now? Almost everybody. Okay, let's just go ahead and change that. Let's just go Simon Boulevard. Surprise war. Done. Duh, done. You know, they killed one of our giant death robots. I think it's time. I think it's time. Look at this thing. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh man. Awesome. Okay, that city's gone. Let's go. Oh, there's the Eiffel Tower. She is more fit totally forgot we're building that. Now our look at these things. Plus one faith for all of our tiles around here. We have a lot of breathtaking tiles all of a sudden. And a lot more faith return. Which we desperately need. We only have 10,500. Yes. We need another giant death robot. I think we do. <laughs> this is great. Oh man, one thing you do have to worry about, is this happened to me before, I can't remember what game he was playing for, is I basically eliminated all the civilizations and then another civilization converted over mine to their religion and then I ended up losing to a religion game because I took them over last. So we're going after Nubia right now. I don't want them to accidentally win some religious victory. Looks like Nubia's capital is ours. Take that. Uh, I guess we gotta keep this one. Let's assume bread circuses or something. I don't really care. And Grand Columbia's capital is gone from this game. Look at this map. Absolutely gorgeous. We're getting barbarian encampments again. We can buy a mech infantry. 1,553 gold. The only thing we have left on this map is real de Janeiro. I actually thought about going for a score victory and I kind of actually already am going for a science victory. And so this will be done. So we can't actually go for a score victory, but this is how it started. This, this was a lot of fun. I hope you had a lot of fun watching this one, but here's all of our giant death robots that we have left. This surrounded real de Janeiro. Let's just take it over. And there we go. Oh man. Let's see our ranking ninth. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching this episode.